With Marvel Studios hard at work on the Fantastic Four, it's not surprising that we're hearing more and more names associated with the casting of the four main characters. The latest that's been in the rumor mill is Jodie Comer, and she talks a little bit about all the casting rumors and the potential of getting the role. While Jodie might not be somebody that springs right to the forefront of castings or somebody you might even recognize, she has been in quite a few big things you might have heard of. Killing Eve, Free Guy, The White Princess, The Last Duel, and also a little film you might have heard of called Star Wars Rise of the Skywalker, where she played Rey's mom. So she was recently interviewed by Josh Horowitz, who brought up the Fantastic Four rumors because her name has been out there. Now, whether this is related to fan castings or you know photoshops or whatever people do with it she said and she's being honest according to her she doesn't know anything she says never say never and maybe i'd agree to do it but she has to just see what happens and if things fall into place and then she would be interested but she says that she doesn't know if her acting is even that good or if they'd be even interested in looking at her. So this is one of those things where I never take what actors say as a definitive yes or no, because they lie. That's the point. Remember Asa Butterfield, who was in the final three for Spider-Man, and he decided to go on social media and in an interview be like, oh yeah, I'm auditioning for Spider-Man. I'm pretty far along. And then guess what happened? He lost out. We know Marvel Studios will outright kick you to the curb if you spoil that you're in the running they do not want that spoiled because they want control so even if she's in the casting or somehow has been offered a contract she's not gonna say it she's not gonna slip up and the ndas now that disney puts out there i mean my god if you guys only knew i've talked to somebody and i am i'm honestly shocked at this point if you slip up they might as well just come and take your house away I mean, they're getting serious about spoilers, so I don't fully believe her, but a part of me does at the same time. But let's be real. They're looking at anybody over 30, and she's over 30, so she fits the bill. So is there a chance she's lying? Yes. Is there a chance that she's telling the truth? Yes. But if she gets cast, then we'll know that it was all lies. And if she doesn't, we might find out a decade from now, she'll go on an interview and be like, oh yeah, I auditioned for Sue Storm. I lost that. Here I am now, though. I am uh, Barbara Gordon. There we go. There we go. 